Hello guys, this will be a quick one today regarding my internet connection. I am actually doing all my stuff on Starlink, simply because, as you can see behind me, I'm in a country and there's no much internet till today available for me in this region. Uh, so as you can see, I was running the Starlink dish on the top of the garage and uh, on a clear day, I can get as fast as 300 gigabytes a second. Uh, and a day with a lot of clouds, like today, I can go as low as 25 gigabyte by second. But today it will change because I just install our detect, just install optic fiber in my house. So I'm getting ready to switch from Starlink to optic fiber so before turning or switching everything i want to do a speed test with the cloud with the sky today right now with starlink and compare it to my optic fiber speed i didn't uh, they offer like one gigabyte a second i didn't take this option because i don't need it uh, so i was saving on the membership I took like I believe it's 360 gigabyte a second so I will compare the two speed right now and see what I can get so I will go inside I will run a test with Starlink first and after that I will switch everything my PC my cell phone and I will run a test with the optic fiber from Kajiko so let's jump to it right away Okay guys, I'm now on my PC. I will start by testing Starlink and first after that I will test the optic fiber connection. As you can see now, I got that Planet logo with no connected connection. So I will start by connecting it to Starlink. I will connect this one in first. And we are now connected. I will now open a browser page and I will go in uh, speed data speedtest.net website and it pull it automatically so as you can see it is SpaceX Starlink and I'm going through a server in Montreal uh, I will connect to Montreal as well for testing the optic fiber so we got the same distance geographically uh, so let's click go straight away the thing is with Starlink um, you can get uh, 100 megabyte per second uh, and five minutes later you get like 20 uh, it's never stable so it's pretty frustrating when you're streaming sometime uh, right now I have 161.31 megabyte per second which is not bad but it could be better and the upload speed is just awful uh, but it's better than five minutes ago. Now I will get an average of 27, 27.03 megabyte per second on upload. Five minutes ago, I had six megabyte per second. What I will do, I will actually test it again. So you can see that it's not stable with Starlink. You sometimes have different reading. Uh, just five minutes later, we are actually simply uh, two minutes later or so. I will open a new window, shrink it a bit, go to speedtest.net Again, we are with SpaceX Starlink, uh, we are in Montreal but with a different server. I will try to find the same server, it was Connexio. So now I have the same server, I will click go, see if we get the same result. I will test the fiber twice as well and as you can see it's rising with slower I don't know if it will get higher than that in the previous test we had 161 megabyte per second now we'll be lucky if we get 70 as you can see I get 68.8 megabyte per second and the upload speed doesn't even reach 6 megabyte per second and we're only two minutes apart from the previous test which suck when you are a gamer 
a YouTuber, or if you simply watch a lot of movie and streaming. So as you can see, both results are really, really different. And it was at the same server, Connexio in Montreal, Quebec. Uh, the ping was 50 millisecond. Uh, it was pretty much the same ping on both tests. So now I will disconnect from Starlink and I will connect to my new uh, optic fiber internet. Uh, now we are connected, as you can see, connected uh, Kojeko fiber. So let's refresh both page. And they still show as Starlink, so I will just start new page. So just so they know confusion, I will turn or close these two windows and I will open two new windows. So this way, we'll be certain that it will get the right data or not data, but the right setting for the test. So let's go on speedtest.net again. Pretty slow to open the page, if you ask me. But I am on Kajeko. Uh, I will go on a server in Montreal. Montreal, Montreal. I will go at Bell Canada in Montreal. So we have the same geographic distance with both tests. So let's click OK or go. Seems pretty slow to me compared to the first test I did. 345 in a ping, that's unacceptable. I don't know what happened there, but 345 millisecond as a ping, that's completely unacceptable. Uh, maybe it took time to connect properly. Uh, I will see with the second test. We still beat it the test with Starlink with 223 megabyte per second and the, the upload speed is close to 400 megabyte per second so it's pretty good but the, but the ping is unacceptable so let's open a new test page still you want to connect to Ottawa I want to keep same distance so Montreal Let's go to Bell. Oh, I will go to a different server still in Montreal. Let's click on it and see what happened. Ah, 10 milliseconds for ping. That's way better. And the upload speed, uh, the download speed, I mean, it's pretty close to 360 megabyte per second, which is what I'm paying for. So my guess is the previous test uh, took there was a glitch in the connection or something because now I'm getting great result actually with the optic fiber connection I will keep this page open and I will turn on or I will close this one I will go back to Starlink and I will do another test simply because rig gaming it's fluctuate a lot and I want to get a higher result as I can so now I'm connected yes it is I will open another window here go into the speed test page SpaceX Starlink 
Ebox Montreal, so we have the right setup. Let's click on it. The ping is pretty stable at 53, 54 millisecond, but the speed's really not there. 82, 83, maybe we'll get like 87 or 90, average 100, 101 on the download speed, but the upload speed's really not there. For a YouTuber that upload a lot or a gamer that stream in HD with a big or high-end graphics card, it might struggle to produce good results. If you want to record or stream your game while you're gaming, uh, Starlink is not the way to go unless you have nothing, le nothing else. So as you can see, uh, there's a big difference between both. Uh, obviously. Starlink is the next best thing when you are in a remote area like that where there is no cell phone connection, where there is nothing. Uh, and I, uh, I rely on Starlink for a year and a half and I have nothing but good things to say about that. Apart from the price, it's a bit higher, like uh, it's $160 a month. Uh, hopefully, not hopefully, but fortunately my government pay a bit of it so uh, but it was still a monthly fees or a monthly bill of $114 a month it was a lot just for internet and it's not um, the fastest speed ever but as I said when you don't have anything else it's better than nothing but now with optic fiber with that kind of speed and I'm paying only 80 bucks a month it's a no-brainer and I recommend everybody that has access to optic fiber uh, and who are actually user of uh, Starlink to switch right away because with that optic fiber you don't have the headache of worrying every time there's a snowstorm do you have to remove the snow off your dish or anything like that when there's a cloud big cloud cover uh, the speed won't go down and you can see that the upload speed have nothing to compare uh, with each other so this is it for now please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as I will release another video so on this I wish everybody great day and see you later goodbye